The Brian Crabtree Show On Demand is brought to you by the Cobb Chamber of Commerce. Achieve more. CobbChamber.org. The Brian Crabtree Show, live in Atlanta, afternoon starting at 4 on Biz 1190, Biz1190.com, and the Biz1190 mobile app. The Brian Crabtree Show. Handpicked, self motivated, smart, eyes fixed on their bright futures. The Brian Crabtree Show. All right, the next topic really is a chilling topic that's probably one of the most important things you'll ever hear on the radio. I, I mean this literally, I, this is not hype. And it comes, the idea for this topic comes from the fact that there is a study that reveals Americans, even after the Great Recession, are saving less than 5% of their income. We have some massive credit card delinquencies, hundreds of billions of dollars of delinquencies out there, which means people are spending more than they make. They're borrowing from future prosperity, bringing it into today, making the average of less four point some odd percent that we save for retirement, a number that should be 15 percent or more. Now, there's some ways to put away more without really being in pain, without changing your lifestyle dramatically. But before we get there, let's talk about just the general aspect, something I don't do as much on this show. We do it on the weekend show with my wife a lot. But the, the self-help side of the Brian Crabtree show, I need to get to more of this because the politics will kill us, um, almost literally. I, um, I have always been a believer that whatever your, your gross pay is, that you should save 15% of that for retirement. Um, you, you know, your, your basic adjusted gross income, not the total amount you, you, you make on the top line, but whatever you would make after, you know, cost of goods sold, if you will. So if you're self-employed, I'm not talking about if you make a million dollars as a company and net 200 grand that you should save 150,000. That'd be nice if you could do that. But I'm talking about $200,000 of what you actually net before taxes. So if you're making 100 grand a year, then if you want to be able to sustain that lifestyle at 100 grand salary adjusted for inflation throughout retirement till you're 110 and dead, then you need to be saving $15,000 a year. If you make $110,000 next year, you need to save not $15,000, you need to save $16,500. That would be 15% of that money. Now, obviously, if, if you have some costs associated with making one hundred and ten grand, other than taxes and, and basic deductions for Social Security, then you would, you would want to take those uh, off the number that you're calculating or using to calculate the 15%. When you do that, and if you invest it wisely, and the average American can earn on average over time infinitum, even in the face of something like the Great Recession and the huge stock market crash of, of, of 2008, 9, 10, and, and 1987, or whenever the, the Black Monday and so on and so forth, the dot-com crash. If you look, you, you, know, you, you take those things and you put them over in the corner because those are isolated events. And over time, if you look since the... The, the 90s, at least, we, we had a, a Dow in the, you know, under 10,000 range. Now it's in the 23,000, 24,000 range. And so clearly equities have grown at six, seven, eight percent per year. And if you if you do that, it's let's say it's seven percent. The money that you have in there today at seven percent will double every 10 years. If you if you're so lucky to get 10 percent, it'll double every seven years. So if you have $100,000 and you're not retiring for 30 years, then it's at 7%. In 30 years, it's going to double three times. 100000 becomes two hundred, becomes four hundred, becomes 800000 Now we're talking about some real money. It can be a lot more than that. So the power of this compounding interest and growth, some speculation. And if you missed our interview yesterday um, with just a little bit uh, in this part of the show, with Heath Beam, we talked about the effects of GE and dividend stocks on your retirement. You need to go to talk40.com, look for the GE General Electric logo there, and we've got the whole segment where Heath really lays out how to manage philosophically your retirement, especially in ages 50 to 70. But I'm 40. My age is, was ap you know, applicable to what he was discussing. But there are some things that you can do. If you're struggling, I, I counsel people from time to time through Buckhead Church and their uh, money wise industry or, or ministry. And the things that you can do is automate the deductions. Go ahead and just have it taken out of your paycheck. Automate it where it comes straight out of your checking account. You don't have to think about it. Small amounts, $20 here, $50 there, $100 here. So you don't really feel it. It kind of just oozes away. Get rewards. 
There's, there's billions of dollars of 401k matching that people just don't use. Use it. It's big money. These things are easy. And start tracking. Track your savings. So you just got to use the rewards. You got to automate the process and you got to track your savings. And then all of a sudden it starts to become something of pleasure and accomplishment. And then you can really go into high gear. The Brian Crabtree Show On Demand is brought to you by the Cobb Chamber of Commerce. Achieve more. CobbChamber.org. The Brian Crabtree Show, live in Atlanta, afternoon starting at 4 on Biz 1190, Biz1190.com, and the Biz1190 mobile app.